The microphone, there we go, there we go, sorry. Uh, okay, well now we're joined by uh, South Dakota State uh, head coach Eric Henderson, as well as student athletes Douglas Wilson and Baylor Shireman. Uh, coach, I'm going to ask you to start with, open up with a statement, and then we'll take questions for the student athletes before we continue with your questioning. So, uh, Coach, if you can please open up with a statement. You bet. Well, obviously, tip of the cap to Coach Cooley and, and his team. Um, I, thought, I thought our guys battled their hearts out. I thought we were defensively, we were tough. We battled in, in every aspect of the game. We just didn't score enough points. But uh, I can guarantee you this, our, our season will never be de defined by one game. And uh, all the guys in the locker room and, and these guys, we, we, we came in confident. We expected to compete, and we just fell a little short. But I love our guys, and nobody can take away what we accomplished this year. All right, question for the student athletes. Uh, please uh, raise your hand. We'll bring a microphone around uh, over here in the middle. He's coming. Baylor, you guys started pretty strong, and you kind of had some showtime going there a little bit with some alley-oops and things, and it was really fast-paced, and then there were two back-to-back -back timeouts, and there was a long delay. Did it feel like that slowed some of your momentum? It seemed like you guys had a tough time picking it back up after that long delay. Um, well, for me, I was happy because I was super tired after <laughs> a long eight minutes or that we didn't have a timeout. So, I mean, I guess I didn't really notice it in-game that it slowed down, so I, so I don't think necessarily it did. I just think... It just was part of the flow of the game. What impact did you feel like Providence's defense had on your guys' ability to, to get shots and score points? Well, um, you know, they play really physical and they're really long, you know, at all, pretty much all five positions. And um, they do a great job on defense, you know, trying to take away what they want to take away, and they, and they were pretty good at it. Up front here. Bailey, you guys were coming out of a timeout, 16 and a half seconds left in the first half. You know, it was an eight-point deficit. You had a chance to cut into it right before the half. They made you give up the ball. Just how much was that really a concentration on their part to try to make you <clears throat> give up the ball to your teammates today? Yeah, you know, I'm sure they, they were trying to get the ball out of my hands a little bit. You know, I got off to a hard, hot start, and I was kind of feeling it a little bit. And so, you know, they really started to shrink the gaps. But I have confidence in my teammates, you know, to pass the ball, and they're going to make the right plays and make shots too. Yeah, over here. Uh, Doug. You guys got down 14 in the second half and then immediately went on an 8-0 run to cut the lead back down to 6. What do you think allowed you guys to get back in the game right away? Uh, you know, just you know, just playing our basketball, just, you know, it's, the game's never over, even when they have big leads like that. It's just stay composed and just chip away at it. Up front here. For Doug, d did you think you fouled that shooter? Late in the game, uh, you know, I, you know, no, not at the moment. I thought he kicked his leg there, you know, and I go and ran into him. But you know, I don't make the call, so. You know. Doug, how back? much of an okay. impact is South Dakota State and being at this program made on your life? Uh, you know, it's made a huge impact on my life, honestly. You know, like I always say, like as a kid growing up, I probably I never imagined myself being in the position I was in, and. I'm really grateful that South Dakota State gave me that opportunity, and they really stuck from, stuck with me from day one. And I just, I'm just really appreciative, and they're always going to have a place in my heart, no matter what. Yep, over here, Baylor and Doug. Um, just what are the emotions right now, as far as sort of balancing the disappointment of this loss, but also I would assume uh, the pride of the season that you had this year prior to today. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I think the disappointment's a little more at the forefront right now. You know, we were really um, excited about this opportunity and we're excited to, you know, make a run. And obviously now that it's over, it's tough. Um, I'm sure, you know, in the next week or so, you know, we'll reflect on the season and, and it'll show that, you know, regardless of what happened here today, you know, our, our season, like Coach said, it wasn't defined just on this game. You know, we had a hell of a season, heck of a season, sorry. Yeah, you know, just to piggyback off what Baylor said, I mean, nobody can take what we did this season from us, you know. We still, I mean, although we lost in the first round, you know, it's a big accomplishment just to even make it to the NCAA tournament. There's a lot of teams in college and everybody can't be here. So just to have the opportunity to be here, it's, it's really, feels really good for me and my teammates and coaches. So, um, you know, for the muscle, yeah, it hurts right now. But like Baylor said, we're going to probably week from now all be together and just reflecting on it just you know talking about the 
time, good times, bad times we had during out the whole season. Here in the back. Baylor, uh, did this everything live up to your expectations of what this tournament would be and how much do you want another shot at this in the years ahead? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, once the game was over, kind of walking off the court, you know, kind of just turning around and soaking it all in because uh, it was a dream come true for me. Um, you know, being a kid from small town Nebraska, having this opportunity, um, it's special. And I can't thank my coaches and, and my teammates enough for believing in me and giving me the opportunity to, you know, show what I can do on this level. All right, if we don't have any more questions for our student athletes, we'll excuse them. Thank you, gentlemen. We can continue with the questioning with Coach Henderson. Yep. yep, go ahead. Hendo, were they kind of what you were expecting just as far as the size, defense, all those the strengths that you knew coming in? I mean, they were the Big East regular season champs. <laughs> I mean, they, they're so physical. Um, they, like I said in, in the pregame, they take on their personality of their coach. They're together. They play their heart out, um, and they're very, very physical. So they were. They were. I thought, uh, you, you know, I knew our guys weren't going to be intimidated, um, but they were physical. They they were aggressive getting downhill, and I thought we did a good job of protecting the paint. We just, at the end of the day, we didn't score well enough. Go ahead. Coach, game of runs there. Uh, you were able to get it down to three late in the game. Um, couldn't get quite over the hump. Can you talk about the ending sequences of that game there and kind of what was going on? Yeah, you know, we last media timeout, we were as confident as we've ever been. You know, we, we, we can make threes. You know, we, we, can get, we can put some points on the, on the board. And we hadn't gone on a run yet that we normally do. And, and um, so we were, we were confident that we were going to get back in the game. And then obviously we got it down to that single possession game and uh, couldn't get a stop. And then, then, you know, obviously we fouled, I guess, on that three-point shot. And, and um, that, that was a backbreaker. Uh, Hendo, I'll ask the same thing that Matt asked the players. Do you think those back-to-back -back time, media timeouts uh, kind of slowed you guys down? Well, I, it was a devil-headed sword. I mean, it, because, you know, we were cooking. We were playing at the pace we wanted to play at. But our guys were tired. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were, so was the other team. I'm not saying that. So was Providence. So, so we, we needed that rest. We needed to get our breath under, you know, be able to take a breath and, and, and get our legs back under, underneath us. You know, in a big moment, your nerves, and, and to play that long of a stretch to start the game, that, that can take a lot out of you. And, and I did think it took a little bit out of us as far as our flow, our rhythm. We, we did get a little stagnant there. Doug's stomach was a little upset. So, um, you, you know, that was a tough spot for us. And I just felt like our movement was, was slowed down a little bit. I don't know if it was because of the stretch or not, but uh, it, it did seem to change a little bit at that time. I know that. Eric, what did you see on that uh, three-point shot that they called the foul on Doug? Yeah, I mean, we can look at that as a big play in the game, and obviously it, it, it was. But um, I, I don't really want to focus on that, to be honest with you. I, I want to focus on, like, the. I, I thought that stretch, you know, with about eight minutes to about two minutes left in the first half, that's where I, I didn't feel like we, we, we had – we gave them second-chance points. We gave them a couple easy baskets in transition. And, and then, you know, we got, gave them the flow and, and – and we just didn't score it at those times, so they were able to stretch it out to eight points. And, and that's really where I felt like probably was a big, as, as big an impact as any other part of the game during that stretch. So obviously, um, it was a tough call. Um, it, it is what it is. No, it, just like one game is not going to define our season, one call is not going to determine the outcome of the game. I would have liked it to be different, but. <laughs> In the back. Coach, this program has been very close now, and especially in three of its last four games. Obviously, does it underscore how difficult it is to win in this tournament, and, and what is it going to take to hopefully someday break through and be on the other side of this? I have great confidence, you, you know, that uh, we're going to continue to, you know, put in the time and uh, be a selfless basketball program to put ourselves in position to have opportunities like these. Things have to go your way. You know, obviously, we've, we've, we went on a heck of a run and, and won 21 games in a row with a big-time target on our back in the conference tournament. Um, at the end of the day, every chance we get a play in, in the NCAA tournament, don't ever take it for granted. 
don't ever take it for granted because you never know. And so you just want to continue to embrace every moment. And if we continue to work, I have great hope that we'll be back here. And just like today, I had great hope that we were going to be successful. And uh, I think we will be in the future as well. Do you think it worked against you that so many people were identifying you guys as a potential Cinderella and there was so much talk of them being primed for an upset? I don't know if it necessarily worked against us, um, but I know it probably worked for Providence, to be, to be honest with you. Uh, our guys have done a good job of, of really not, not really worrying about that. Like I've told you guys, we, we get everybody's best shot in the Summit League every, every night, so that's really not any distraction for us. Um, so I don't think necessarily affected our team, but, but I'm sure it, it helped Providence. Over here. Uh, obviously not the way you want it to end, but just how proud are you uh, of this group, you know, going through everything and, you know, getting to this moment? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, going, going through it, it, you know, you don't really appreciate what you're, what you're doing at the time. Um, but, but like the players here, you know, I'll sit back and reflect on, um, what this group did. I mean, it was a historical season, and um, nobody can ever take that away from us. And I, I had so much fun coaching this group. Um, we continued to get better and better throughout the year, um, and that's th those are the things that really, really make me proud is, is our connectivity, our improvement throughout the year, and just the love that each one of our players have for each other. All right, any other questions for you everyone here? Go ahead. Eric, Doug was a guy that, you know, your first year coaching, you brought him in, came out on the court, and was a great player for you right from the get-go, um, his final game here. What's he meant to you in this program? Well, I mean, I got you. <laughs> I don't like him when you get me choked up. I mean, that, that kid right there, like I told our players in the locker room, if you, need, if, you, if you need an example for what an incredible teammate is, you don't have to look very far. Because as special as he is on the floor, and everybody knows what he can do as, and has done as a player, but the type of person he is, the, the way he treats his teammates, is so much more important to me than, than anything else. And that's what, that, that's what makes Doug special. I think for the first time we actually have a question over Zoom, Coach. Well, I feel good about that. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to work or come in from. So I, Tanner, do you have it on audio back there? Just, we're going to hear it over audio here, but we'll give it a second. If, if you're on Zoom, you can go ahead and ask the question. If you can hear us. But I don't know if they can hear us. Yeah. If, you're, if you can hear us. On Zoom. You'd think after two years we'd figure out how to use the Zoom thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we don't have any luck, we're going to have to pass. All right, we're just going to have to. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out. But uh, well, thank you. Any other questions for Coach Henderson before he goes? No? Okay. All right, thank you, Coach, for your time. Thank you, guys. Just a reminder.